Gen AI, Chick-fil-A, NFL, what do they have in common? We're going to talk to our National Chair of Communications with HDI Local Chapters, Terry, and she's going to answer this question. We're excited. Terry, welcome. Thanks. It's great to be here, Rocky. What's up, HDI Local Chapter? I'm Rocky McGuire. I'm going to be talking to Terry, who is our National Chair of Communications and local officer who is the president of the San Francisco chapter. Terry, let's talk a little bit about Livestream, the history of Livestream, and what we're going to be doing in the future. Can you kind of give me a just a scope of what's changing and why we're actually changing what we're doing with Livestream? Sure. Um, so Livestream, which we've been doing for a few years, uh, was live, and it was weekly, uh, and it was 15 minutes long. So we had a lot of fun with it, but now what we want to do is to evolve to a podcast, which will be pre-recorded and published as as finished um, and more and longer. So we have more of an opportunity to have conversation about the topics, all tech topics, but they could be specific to service management or they could just be some fun thing about tech and, and getting to know each other and building community, which is what. ATI local chapters, what our goal is, is to build community. Awesome. Now walk me through, you know, the topics we've talked about in live stream have been so wide. What are some of the topics you imagine that we're going to dive in and, you know, what kind of guests are we going to see come on to Bites and Banter, which is the the name for the, <laughs> the upcoming launch of the podcast? Um, well, we're going to pull from our collective networks of people, um, starting with, you know, um, Kurt Weisler, who everybody largely knows, can't say everybody all the time, but um, but for instance, in live stream, we had a discussion with an officer back in New York, Western Central New York, and also, uh, as well as being an IT manager, he also owns a family farm. So I think we'll be continuing to do some similar ranging topics, but we'll just have longer to have the conversation. Um, so anybody that's involved in tech could be a, we could tap you on the shoulder and ask you to come on the show. Yeah. I'm excited about this, this transformation really of live stream and what started as just a really cool opportunity to bring people in it is really transforming into an opportunity to have really good conversation. Uh, walk me through Terry, kind of what is the value you think this is going to bring to those who are going to be listening to the podcast? I think one of the values is, you know, as an IT manager for over 20 years, one of the biggest values I had from being involved in IT, uh, HDI Professional Association, is um, finding my people and having people to go to when I had a specific technical topic or really when I just needed to get over a crisis in confidence um, because IT is a hard job. So one of the values I think to me and hopefully to and to you, that's how you came to us, right? Is <laughs> yeah. this opportunity to get to talk with other people that are involved in this business we call support operations, but which has a wide range um, because IT is everywhere. It's in everything. Um, and so we'll continue to highlight interesting people. Some people who think they're interesting and some people who we're gonna, we know are interesting and we're going to bring it out in the conversation. I love that. I think the support world community, right? It's it's really weird how it works in terms of like it's everywhere, but it's such a small community when you really start connecting with like-minded people who are focused on the things that you're focused on. And so much is changing in technology. And I think thinking about Gen AI, right? Thinking about just the way that generations are coming to the workplace it really gives us an opportunity to bring unique perspectives, right? And all these different things that are, are happening in our world, in our business, and ultimately, hopefully bring people into a place where they, they understand a little bit more about what HDI is about. And I love what you said there, Terry, because for me, you're right. Before I, I was introduced to HDI, local chapters, I had no idea there was professional communities or centered around things that I did right? Professionally. And me, I've been in the in the industry for seven years. And I wonder how many service desk agents and how many service desk leaders and how many managers of people can get value out of the things that we talk about every day, right? As mm -hmm. organizations. Yeah. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. What If you had to identify three topics that you're looking forward to most 
in terms of what's going to be talked about and the things that we're going to talk about in Bytes and Banter? What are those three things, Terry? Oh, gosh. Well, I can only relate to what <laughs> I would like that I like. So I, yeah. love, I love career stories. And I think that, you know, when I first started in IT, that wasn't my first career. Um, my first career was to teach yeah. physical education. That's what my degree is in. I have a teaching credential. So I spent some amount of time in my early IT career having imposter syndrome, thinking I wasn't technical enough. So I think that the there there's a lot of podcasts um, and blogs and about that are really deep into technical. Um, you know, um, I can think of a number of them that are very specifically about the technical side, but the career stories. Um, that will continue to encourage people to stay the distance in in the IT support role, whether it's individual contributor or whether it's an executive VP. It's those stories that have actually sustained me. And that's part of why I have continued to stay involved with HDI, even as I no longer manage people. But now I'm teaching students who will be IT professionals later. And I think some of them are probably thinking I'm not technical enough. But there's so many jobs in IT. Yeah. 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 I think that it's encouraging to hear you say that. For me, I am similar to you. I grew up in the fast food industry. I worked at Chick-fil-A. For me, customer experience was always kind of what I enjoyed talking about in leadership. And, you know, I was a leader at Chick-fil-A. So to your point, I think I, too, understand <laughs> that that sentiment of I'm not technical enough. And hearing people's stories and hearing about how they grew, what enabled them to grow, mm-hmm. what skills did they learn, how did they connect? And a lot of, you know, the opportunities with HDI is to make those connections to your point mm-hmm. and to talk about how we grow within the industry. And so I'm excited to get to hear more of those kind of stories more than just 15 minutes, right? Mm -hmm. I know we've had HDI award winners in, you know, on the live stream in the past, getting to hear more about their growth and kind of really what Mm -hmm. drives them Mm -hmm. in a long form conversation. I mean, that gets my, my tummy buzzing (laughs) and gets me all excited thinking about sharing the, you know, my friend Nate Brown likes to call it the technologist over the technology because that technologist Mm -hmm. is what enables the technology to impact our customers, impact Mm -hmm. our internal Mm -hmm. stakeholders. So I love to hear what you're saying. I'm really excited for us to get it live. And, you know, can you walk us through the first episode we're actually going to launch and how that ties directly into kind of that new person in IT looking for information? You know, can you walk us through a little bit about what that's going to look like? Well, I think um, our first episode that we're going to launch is, of course, the Robert Half Salary Guide, which um, anybody involved in IT at whatever level should know about because it can help inform you um, about the career that you're in and the potential for that career going forward. It can help you in actually identifying roles that you might want to grow into. And Robert Half is a a great partner for HDI. They've been a partner uh, at HDI corporate for many, many years, sponsored the awards for years and years. And now they are a partner with HDI local chapters. Um, So the salary guide, I think, is a great tool. And look, uh, I, I share it with my students because, you know, you need to know how to negotiate your salary going in because that sets your baseline. And then another show that we're planning is Kurt Weisler, which Kurt, for those of us that have been involved with HDI, know Kurt very well. And the first conference that I ever went to, which was in like 2001, Kurt was actually an individual contributor then. And um, he worked at a company doing similar stuff that he's evolved into, which is all about um, culture um, and um, and sustain, sus, sus, sustenance of yourself. You know, he's a big reader and he very much promotes the act of reading in order to grow yourself. So Kurt was uh, just one of us on the stage. And so <laughs> he is going to join us for um, talking about probably one of his favorite subjects, which is always culture. And yeah. a lot of times IT individuals, especially individual contributors, they don't feel like, especially they work for a big company, they don't necessarily feel like they are impacting the culture. But each of us individually actually does impact mm-hmm. the culture. And and staying in an IT job, which again is a hard job, um, it's important to sustain yourself. So Kurt's going to talk about that, I'm sure. I love that. I think two very good resources and Uh, Kirk is 
ultimately what I call it in my mind, he's the morale guru, right? Which ultimately yes. is the culture guru. And mm -hmm. I think you hit, hit it on the, the nail on the head talking about, you know, the salary guide, just the resourcefulness of that specific resource. And Kirk, you know, talking about something that's so important to everybody in tech, whether you're a leader, whether you're, you know, a individual contributor, having a culture that allows you to take care of yourself and to ultimately contribute to the greater good. Love hearing him talk. Uh, can't wait to have him on for his episode. Uh, there's a couple other CX type of episodes that I, in my head, I've already had some conversations mm -hmm. that I think are going to, people are going to be really excited about um, with some voices that most of us are going to be really familiar with. And I'll just kind of give a hint, some bright colors associated with that voice. Yeah. Um, and, and then some stories, you know, some bios about yeah. people in tech. I just, I, I'm really excited for the future of what live stream is becoming and hoping, crossing our fingers that, man, that we can change people's perspectives on, on the support world. We can bring value to our audience and to those who are involved in HDI Local Chapters. It, it's a good season, exciting season to be a part of everything that's going on in HDI Local Chapters. So Terry, I know we talked a lot about what we're doing and kind of the cool things that are coming from live stream to where we're going now to podcast. Uh, walk me through, give me, if you had to put it in one or two points that you want the audience to know about what our hope is for them, right? What do we want for them out of the podcast and this change? What mm -hmm. are those things? Well, as the national communications chair, <laughs> um, what I want is for people to know about HDI, both as a local chapter, and we also have a virtual community, and to to come to our events, to be to to grow their careers, to sustain their careers, um, and to uh, add to their company's um, delivery of service and support. So I think that's the biggest thing is to, like we did with live stream, to get to, to broadcast the word out there about HDI and um, what it can do for you and what it's done for us. I love that. If people have questions about HDI, local chapters, if they have ideas or interest and in even maybe telling their story mm -hmm. right to the HDI world, where can they reach out? How can they engage with us? So the easiest way to engage with us is first to, uh, of course, go to our website, which is HDI local chapters, plural, dot, um, dot org, O-R-G. Um, and on there, they'll see all the events that are happening at all the chapters throughout the country, plus our regular virtual community events, which are virtual. Most of our chapters have gone back to mostly in-person events. Uh, there are some uh, chapters that are doing hybrid events. I know my San Francisco chapter, we are still, because of the uniqueness of the the office groups in the San Francisco Bay Area, a lot of people are still working from home. So we do a lot of hybrid events. Um, so that, go to the hilocalchapters.org and sign up for our mailing list and um, check out our events that are coming up. Right now, most of our chapters are doing uh, award celebrations, which are so fun. And um, uh, every year from August to October, we have nominations for HDI for local best service and support uh, analyst and best service and support technician, as well as uh, best service and support manager. And there's a bunch of other team awards as well. So that's award season. And right now it's award celebration season. Yeah, we actually uh, have Kirk Weisler. We're flying him out That's right. for HDI's Ohio. local chapters, Ohio's mm -hmm. award ceremony coming up in December. So we're mm -hmm. really excited to have that. Yeah. So, you know, we're looking forward to the end of the year. <laughs> yeah. One thing that also occurs to me that I want people to know about is that for, for, for many of us who have been in the industry um, for a long time or even a short time, HDI has been such a significant part, HDI Local Chapters has been a significant part of their career journey. Because if you are in a room of HDI folks and you ask them how many of you got a job because of your participation in HDI Local Chapters, many people will raise their hand. Many people will raise their hand multiple times. And if you are looking at growing your career and growing your own skills in a career, Local Chapters is a great 
great and um, great place to do that. You can get better practice at leading people, standing up in front of people. If you just like to organize fun events, we organize fun events, get to spend money at the local just chapter like level. Just party to at events. events. Yeah. yeah. You just want to be a part of the party. <laughs> <laughs> Networking, fun, and learning is what one of our um, one of our first uh, people who organized local chapters. That was her thing that she said. Networking, fun, and learning. NFL. Thank you so much for being with us, Terry. As we look to the future, one thing remains true always. Technology matters the most when it's serving people, which is what we're all about at HDI Local Chapters. Excited to see you in the next one.